Sunny Bonani. Hello. My name is Sakile Dube from Safari and Surf in St. Lucia, South Africa. Sometimes you can be wondering why people, when they're getting older, from the young age, you turn to an adult style or stage, you end up forget about what the elder or the, your parents or your grandfather told you. You don't pass that to your children or to your generation. Today, let's look at the hippo. A lot of people, they know that the hippo does spend time in the water. But the elders, most of the time, they used to have that creation or that stories that make us to easily understand the creator, how he created his nature. According to the story that I heard long time ago when I was young at home, Hippo was a mammal, live outside water, not in the water. Like the old days, when you look at how the God created everything or the Creator created the nature, there was not that fight as it happened like nowadays. They tell us the, the animals, they were friendly to one another, but not all of them, but some of them, they were friendly to one another. They used to help one another. Hippo, long time ago, he had his long hair into his body. He was a friend of a rabbit. They used to, every afternoon, they sit around the fire, share their stories as friends. And later on, the rabbit will be helping the hippo to clean his body because by that time he had a long hair. When he walk down or when he walk, he get dirty. So he employ or he ask the rabbit to help him every afternoon to comb his hair. He did that daily and daily and daily. But the rabbit, because that was not easy for him, he ended up not focusing on his duty or he, what, whatever he liked to do by that time. He not focusing that much because he know that he have to help the hippo to comb his hair. He did that, he become exhausted. Rabbit, according to African story, is the one of the smallest animal, was very clever compared to the bigger animal like an elephant, like a hippo, like any other bigger animal. Those smaller animals in our African story, they were more intelligent than the bigger one. So he woke up one day into the forest. He collected nice dry grass and put it nicely to surprise a hippo. And then the hippo, when they arrived, he said, hippo, I've got something for you. I've got special for you. I made this bed for you. We have to come and sleep on that bed while we're combing your hair. The hippo, he fell so special. He walked toward the bed, he first lay, he grabbed it as usual. He did what he used to do. And then the hippo fell asleep. And then he burned the grass. The grass fire transferred to the hippo's hair. Hippo by that time, he was burning, he was crying and running. The only place he was thought of while he was running and burning to reach water. He ran, he ran and then he get water. Unfortunately, the whole body of the hippo's hair was already burned. Was a small piece of hair was still left on his tail. That what now, if you go in the river, you will see the hippo with that tiny hair still left into his tail. He stayed there and then he felt so scared to go out because he felt so sensitive because there was nothing was protecting him from the sun anymore. The problem was because the Creator, He gave them a piece of land or habitat to live or survive on. The hippo was not a water animal. 
the animal like frogs, crabs, crocodile, fish, they were making toy toy. If they were us as a human being, they will be having a, carrying a signboard saying no more hippo, no more hippo, no more hippo. But because it was that time, so the animals, they send a complaint to the creator that what a big animal like a hippo is doing here in the water. He's disturbing us. He's too big. He's got a big mouth. He's going to eat all of us here. <laughs> and then the creator asked to hippo, what happening down there, hippo? Why don't go back where I give? And then a hippo, he asked a creator that he doesn't want to spend his time in the water because what his friend did to him, he burned his hair. So like now, if he go out during the day in the water, he feels so sensitive from the sun and to other biting insects. So he only asking God or a creator to give him a chance. He promised him that he's not gonna eat anything inside water he'll be there only during the daytime but to prove to everybody and to him as a creator he does not eat anything inside water while he's there in the water he will open his mouth to show everybody that there's nothing there there's no fish there's no frog there's no crocodile there's nothing and then he closes it down and also when he go out from the water in the afternoon he will spread his dung outside the water so the dung pickle they must come and survey whether they will find any bone of any animals living in the water and then the creator agreed on that it was a good agreement and then he said okay hippo you spend the day in the water in a promising that you're not gonna eat anything there. When you go out, you drop your dung outside water and you spread it so I can see there's nothing or I'll ask the dung pickle to come and check for me whether you eat anything. For now, you can easily see as how the elder they were used to tell us those stories. We end up having that belief and understanding how Creator created His nature. Because you can keep on asking yourself, why the hippo spend the day in water? Without having a story from the elder, you will know that. Without having those belief, you will know that. But let us pass on what the elder told us to our young generation. Maybe they will take it somewhere. Thank you. See you soon.